It's time to upgrade your podcast. Will you do that incrementally or a big overhaul? Find out next. Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. Today we're talking about the upgrade. You making that decision, working podcaster, to upgrade your podcast. But what would you do? Why would you do it? We're going to talk about it today. It's a pretty smart move to make an upgrade to your podcast because as you know, and as I remind you all the time, podcasting is getting a lot of attention these days. Hello, 2019. Man, have you been good to us so far. With lots of new people entering the space, discovering podcasting for the first time, as well as lots of acquisitions happening where people are... Companies are buying up other podcast entities and putting them together. So you want your podcast to shine in this moment, don't you? And you're probably thinking about upgrading. Not just thinking about it. You've made the decision. It's time to upgrade my podcast. I want to level up either so I'm more attractive to the people who are newly listening. Maybe I just, it's time for me to do this. I've got my feet under me and I'm doing what I'm doing well and I want to just do it better than that. Or maybe you want to position yourself to be acquired by picked up by someone of these new networks because that's that's happening and there's really good quality content out there. If if there's one reason to upgrade, it's the fact that there are so many people, thousands of people are dedicating time, energy, and money to making their podcast as good as possible. And you, like me, we have to keep up. We have to keep up with the times. It's reality. So how do we do it? Well, here's what I thought I would do. Since every podcast is different, I thought I would give you some parameters, some ideas to work around to figure out what you should invest as part of your podcast upgrade. And again, this is about incremental versus full-on overhaul. And really, it's going to come back to how much, what kind of resources you have available and can put into this. So I'm going to break it down into three buckets And let me just freak you out with the buckets right away. Let's talk about the $100 bucket. What could you upgrade if you had $100 to spend? Then let's talk about what would happen, what are your possibilities if you had $500 to spend? But then let's go all the way to the top. And let's talk about a $5,000 upgrade to your podcast. Now, before you, we go too far down this path, I just want you to understand those numbers are more directional than anything. I'm not suggesting that you write a check for either $100 or $500 or $5,000. You can go up and down and all around that range, but just keep those numbers in mind. Just keep those in mind. That's what I'm going to talk around and understand that, that you can go left or right of each one of those numbers, depending on what you want to do. But if you've got $100 to upgrade your podcast with, You really are in a situation where you can, this is the time, think of this as what could you do with an editor, an editor. Now, that could be really a couple of ways you could edit. One, you could outsource the editing, the actual audio engineering to someone else. And that person or that team or that company could then make incremental improvements to your podcasting content. Maybe trim a little bit here and there, maybe fix some of the weird breath inhalations, the odd pauses, those sorts of little really complicated bits that are going in there. You could be an editor to make that a little bit better. Or on the other side, what an editor might be able to do is a text editor, someone who edits the written word, because your show notes likely need an overhaul, either the micro copy that goes into all of the podcast directories and podcast applications, or the content that goes on your website. You could spend $100 on getting someone to edit that particular content, maybe even write that content for you so you get more attention. But at $100 per episode, again, plus or minus, that's what you have to do. You have to decide. It's it's kind of a trade-off. Which which one one thing can can I really upgrade? It's tough to do it across a wide swath. I wouldn't think about marketing at $100 because it's not, you probably don't need that. If that's all your budget is, you probably just need to work on making your show better. And maybe an editor would help you with that. But what if you had $500 as your budget? Now, your your opportunities open up a lot at $500. This is more of a producer level. This is where someone can come into your show, and not only can you afford those editors you need, but you can also probably afford a producer at this level who can actually actively work 
to make your content better. And I think that comes from working at the script level first. Sitting down with you on a regular basis saying, what is the show? How can we assemble it in such a way? How can we do pre-work on the front, on the back? How can we take it from just a straight interview show, which is 30 minutes of you talking with somebody else? How can we then put that into more of a narrative format? Not completely on the narrative style, but how could we chop that up write some voiceover pieces, and do something new and interesting so it's not just your standard interview show. And that, with the help of a producer, you could actually do something like that. For, again, roughly $500, plus or minus, per episode. Or $5,000. Ooh, what could I do with $5,000? Now, you may think that's a big number, but let's, let's talk about what you could do. At $5,000 per episode, now you've got a full production team. Now you've got a litany of people at your disposal who can help make each individual episode of your program that much better. You can do true narrative style. Maybe you can't do super in-depth field reporting, although you certainly could for starting at that range. You can go up from there. You could really assemble something with perfect audio. Everything captured could be exceptional and great. You could have the best possible website. You'd have wonderful show notes. You could have somebody on your mark, a, a marketer working with you to actively go there. You could hire a PR person to go out and find more, not only guests for your show, but also places where you can publish your show, people publicize your show and get more attention. You can do a lot. Now that $5,000, that, that can go a whole lot higher. If you think that's crazy, just you know, that's just getting started. Uh, typically, it's ten to twenty thousand per episode, and I know some shows that spend upwards of a hundred thousand dollars per episode, and I'm not kidding about those numbers. But that's the serious overhaul and upgrade. So I think, as a working podcaster, this conversation about upgrading helps to understand which bucket you're in. Do you just need someone to come in and edit and make tweaks? Maybe so, but just keep in mind, that's going to be an incremental improvement. That's not going to make the vast sweeping changes that you need in the type of show you're producing to take it to the next level. But, but maybe incremental is all you want or all you need. Next up, that $500, that's when you get a real producer in whose job is to help you craft each episode the best it can possibly be. Or you go all the way to the crazy town level of five grand per episode, and you put a full production team on it. What do you need? What do you want? What can you afford? All three of those, put them in a Venn diagram, and where they overlap is what you can do. What's right for your show? Just a simple incremental boost, 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 upgrade? Or do you want to do a complete and total overhaul? Only you can answer that question. Only you can answer that question. But if you're a business and you need help with doing any of that, and you wanted to figure out who, which, Eva, help me figure out which direction should I go. I can totally help you with that because I've got a production team here that can do, help at all of those levels, by the way. Help at all of those levels, depending on what it is that your business needs. Get in touch with me, Evo, at podcastlaunch.pro. You can go to podcastlaunch.pro to see a list of all the services that we are currently offering to our clients. And I shall return tomorrow for yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers! <laughs>